Capricorn. This is y'all weekly message. Capricorn, y'all are ordering y'all steps and walking by divine light. Y'all are walking the path that you are destined to go down. You are focused on the task, the movement, the change that's coming. You're ready. You're being optimistic. You're focused. You're driven. You know what you want now. Let's grow and get into this message. See what your guidance for this week is. Y'all building, y'all focusing on y'all generational wealth, focusing on family, focus on getting things done that need to be done. secretive, you've been quiet. Let's see what it says. Let's see what she got. Mm. So the hermit means retreat and recharge. Take time to rest and recuperate in order to continue your growth. Benefits from the information that will come directly from your heart space. So open up your heart chakra, follow your heart chakra. You already listening to the divine. The divine is guiding you and encouraging you to open up your heart to use your intuition. Practice discernment, see through illusions and blockage. So things may not be as they seem. Things may not be that cause you spread by that's confirmation. Things may not be as you think they are. Somebody can have dreads. Somebody can meditate. Somebody can make a lot of moves at night. Somebody can be a night owl. Someone might have a hard time sleeping.
This could be a masculine energy. Mercury. Think, learn, network, and communicate. So you got communication coming in. We got the fifth house and we got Uranus. Passion, play, children, confidence. Y'all might have children. And there's about to be a fast change that's coming. Some type of transformation. You might have a bird that comes visit you. Sing to you. Some type of epiphany at night. You might have birds chirping at night. You might see a particular color of butterfly. 8.53 on the clock. 8.8. Eight. That is forward movement. So you got forward movement. Communication. Might be feeling confident, creative, getting ready for some type of particular change. A change within your heart chakra. A change within your mindset. A change in your family. A change in your home. If there is a change coming. You got love. Following your intuition. If you're not, you need to. Follow your intuition and be compassionate. Be open. Then we got passion in it. And then we got um, compassion. So definitely dealing with your heart chakra. <clears throat> Temperance. And the ace of wands. You got a new opportunity coming. That's going to balance out the skills. More money coming in. More wealth. After some type of healing. Some type of new opportunity. A new beginning. A change. An upgrade. A change within the Gemini Libra Aquarius. Somebody is thinking strategically. Somebody is coming towards you in their vehicle fast. Because they want to heal this connection. Could be an emperor that wants to heal this connection. There might be an age difference between y'all. Somebody might have a mohawk. Somebody might have a bald head. Somebody might be old school. Somebody has been a liar and been wearing a mask. There's been a lot of conflict, a lot of deceit. <clears throat> it's an Aries that has lied to you, worn a mask, deceived you, caused a lot of problems. Confirmation. That's the truth. I told you, Ace is significant. Now they gain the clarity or they coming in to give you clarity to work with you. They feel like it's destined to be with you. This is a destined connection. Could be a told you. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Fire sign. Somebody that's confident. Someone that makes you feel vulnerable or someone that's ready to be vulnerable with you. They want to work with you because you want a ten of cups and you want to invest in this and collaborate with this connection. They want to build a strong, long lasting foundation. They want to get over these arguments of times. They want to get over these arguments and they want to move forward. They're confident that y'all can move forward. They're ready to be vulnerable. They're ready to be open and show you love after this conflict. They emotionally invested in this. They want to open up and explain how they feel. You are their lover. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They give you that good feeling. They love you. They care for you. They want to take a risk. 
Aries energy again on love on this connection they want to marry you there's a higher connection higher spiritual connection that y'all have somebody could have a tattoo on their wrist somebody feels burdened stressed out depressed carrying too much weight my back could be hurting back could be hurting because you are pregnant this emperor has gotten me pregnant or you just have a new idea that could be the change you're gonna be in your head hollering because you didn't want this pregnancy but this is going to be your wish fulfillment that's coming towards you fast yes you're going to feel sad about it with this person and you are meant to have a child y'all might have a child after y'all get married Aries Leo Sagittarius definitely a fire sign nine of pentacles somebody that you've been you've been in the bag about or you in the bag and you're not really worried about love this is gonna keep catch you off guard someone is gonna be upset that they got pregnant but this pregnancy is going to be wish fulfillment. This <clears throat> relationship, this connection is filled with love. This person does have a lot of love for you. And they're ready to be vulnerable and they're ready to come towards you. Work things out. And I got the Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Emperor and the Empress, Ten of, um, Ten of Cups, Emperor and the Empress, King of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Ace of Cups, it's your essence, Cancer, because you give this person a good feeling, Aries, lights up, I told you it was an Aries, Scorpio, Virgo, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, 7 and 2, 9, Maybe within the next nine days, you might find out if you're pregnant. Got an expiration date by Sammy. Maybe I got an ending coming. I did see the death card, so maybe there's an ending coming towards y'all. But this is y'all weekly message. I love y'all. Y'all be easy.